Hello everyone and welcome back. So today we are doing a Gigi Hadid inspired look and I did an entire post on my blog so be sure to check that out. I'll have the link below. So let's go ahead and jump into everything. So since the main focus for this look is really bright, glowy skin, go ahead and take your favorite cream or liquid highlighter and apply this to the tops of your cheekbones and above your eyebrows. And personally, I love layering my highlighter underneath my foundation and then going over everything with a powder highlighter later just because I feel like this just gives my skin a really natural, kind of radiant, lit from within look. I'd have to say this is definitely my personal favorite strobing technique just because it makes my skin look so glowy and I love it. So I'm just going over everything and blending my foundation out using my beauty blender. Then you just want to go back in with your highlighter and add this to any other areas that you'd like to emphasize or accentuate. So for me personally, this is going to be the center of my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, which I'm obsessed with lately. I love highlighting my cupid's bow. And then I'm also adding a little bit to my chin and then I'm adding a little bit more product to the tops of my cheekbones and blending everything out with my beauty blender because this just makes everything blend out so effortlessly. And then go ahead and take your favorite brightening concealer and apply this to the underneath area of your eyes. And with this step, be sure that you're not pulling the concealer too far down because you don't want to cover up all the highlighter that you just applied and I'm blending everything again using my beauty blender. And the only areas that I'm applying a powder is going to be underneath my eyes and then my lids and this is just going to prep everything for my eyeshadow. So Gigi's look is very bright and highlighted at the inner corners so with a small synthetic brush you'll want to pick up a pearly white kind of cream base and apply a small amount of this to the very inner corners of your eyes and the reason that we're applying a cream base first and then the shadow on top is just because you really want that color to stand out and lock it in place because I feel like whenever I apply an inner corner shadow it just fades so easily throughout the day but applying a base first just really keeps it in place. We're keeping all of the other shadows matte just like Gigi so I'm taking a soft matte brown shadow with a crease brush and I'm just applying this to my crease, the outer corner and then sweeping it across the middle of my lids to keep everything looking soft and blended and then for more definition you want to go in with just a tiny crease brush and feather this shadow outwards and also connect the shadow to your lower lash line and I love how effortless this brush makes everything it's seriously one of my favorite brushes in the entire world especially since I have smaller eyes and it's so precise the key to achieving this kind of lifted and feathered look is just by running your brush across your lower lash line and just really following the natural shape of your eyes and then bringing the shadow out towards the end of your brows and this way your shadow will suit your eyes perfectly. And then here you can see I'm just going in with a pencil brush and just kind of defining my eyes a little bit more and adding a little bit more of that dark shadow to the outer corners of my eyes. And then you can go ahead and pop some more of that light highlighter shadow that you used earlier just to intensify the look. And to be completely honest, you don't even need to apply a powder highlight unless you want to keep everything matte. But I ended up going over this with the cream highlighter from earlier and I applied this right under the arch of my brows and I feel like this just looks a lot more flattering. Next, you can go ahead and pick your favorite black eyeliner and tight line your eyes. And since we aren't applying a lot of mascara, this will really just make your lashes appear more full at the roots. And then afterwards, you can go ahead and curl your lashes and apply a coat of mascara. And try sticking to a volume intensifying mascara since we really want our lashes to look super full. And Gigi doesn't usually wear a lot of mascara or even any mascara on her lower lashes. So I skipped that and this just really keeps your eyes looking very open and natural. And 
and you can see I totally screwed up here and got a bit of mascara on my lids, but that's okay. We will come back to it in a minute. But the next step for any GG look is applying a nude or a white eyeliner to your waterline. And this just really gives your eyes a more innocent doll-like effect and keeps everything looking very bright. And then we are coming back to that dried mascara and just take a Q-tip and you can wipe it away like it never even happened. And now for my favorite part, the brows. Everybody's brows are so different, so just take a pencil or powder that works for you and run that through your brows just to add some definition and shape. Next up, go ahead and take a powder highlighter on a fluffy face brush and place place this on top of all the areas we applied the cream highlighter, so all of the high points on your face, and this is going to make your skin look so glowy, just like Gigi's always does. Now strobing is meant to be done without a heavy contour, but I noticed Gigi was wearing a bit of bronzer, and I personally love adding a bit of color to my face. So I'm picking up a matte bronzer and applying this to my cheeks and I'm bringing the shade towards the apples of my cheeks as well so it's doubling up as a blush. And then I just take my beauty blender and go around all of the edges just to soften everything and this just makes everything look seamless. When I saw the photos of Gigi that this look was inspired by, which you can totally see on my blog, um, I immediately googled what lip combo she was wearing and went out and bought those products. But to be completely honest, it actually doesn't look anything like her lip color. Her lips were a lot more brown and dark, but I still ended up liking the nude look. You can really substitute any lip color your heart desires. This step is definitely optional, but I just wanted to go around my lips and kind of clean up the edges. So I just used a little bit of concealer to do that, but this is our final Gigi Hadid inspired look with a little bit of strobing, matte shadow, matte lips, and that is the look. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and be sure to check out all of my previous uploads here. And I will talk to you very soon. Bye.